Welcome to lesson 5 of the Python video tutorial series. In this lesson, you will learn about how computers make decisions. You will learn about Boolean tests and Boolean operators, and you will learn how to enable your computer to make decisions using the if-then-else statement. First, let's examine how computers make decisions. For a computer to make a decision, the first thing it needs is data, which can be inputted by the user or generated by another process within your program. Once the computer has this data, often stored in a variable, it performs a Boolean test on it. If the data passes the test, the program will branch, running only certain lines of code and ignoring others. If the data fails the test, another test can be performed, which, if passed, will make the program branch again and follow different instructions. If all tests fail, the program uses a statement to pick up all other responses and branches again. Programmers will usually output a sentence telling the user what the problem is. Let's look at an example in Python. I have set up a file to ask a user what their favourite mode of transport is. I have prompted the user to enter capital C for car, B for bike or M for motorcycle. I have a variable called option, which will accept and store the user's data. Now, to allow the computer to make a decision, we write if option is equal to capital C, then print you selected car. In layman's terms, the sentence reads, if the data stored in variable option is equal to the string capital C, then run all the commands which are indented underneath. The ELIF statement is the next test in the sequence, if the first test failed. ELIF stands for else if. Functionally, it works the same as the if statement, but it simply tells the program that it is part of the same decision process. You will notice my program has two ELIF statements, one to allow the user to select the option B, with the other being used for option M. You can write as many ELIF statements as you have options. There is no limit. Finally, we have the ELSE statement. This does not need a logical test and will throw an error message if you try to give it one. This will pick up any other response that is not a capital C, B or M and will output the string, you did not select a valid option. Let's run the program and look at what happens. In this first example, if I enter a capital C, the program will tell me I selected the car. If I run the program again, this time entering a lowercase g as my option, the program runs the else statement and outputs you did not select a valid option. Let's look at one final example. If I enter a lowercase c, we are told we did not make a valid selection again. This is because most programming languages are case sensitive. To solve this issue, we can modify the input the user gives, forcing it into uppercase. To do this, we add dot upper open bracket close bracket to the end of the input line. Now, when we select a lowercase c, it will say we've selected the car. The Boolean tests we have looked at so far have relied on the double equals sign which means is equal to. Remember, you can change this to examine if numbers are greater than, less than, or equal to each other. Let's have a try a couple of challenges. In the first challenge, you are going to create a maths test. Pause the video now and attempt to record a solution. Here is the solution to the first part of challenge one. Pause the video now to have a look at it. I have only added two questions to this because I couldn't fit it all on. Now let's have a look at the advanced solution. So here we're going to add a variable called score equals zero and then underneath each if statement we're going to put score equals score plus one which looks at the value of score, adds one to it and then stores it back in the same variable effectively overwriting it. Finally, at the end, we'll put a print statement saying you scored, 
will show the data that's stored in score and we'll say out of two in this instance. In our second challenge, you're going to modify the math test from the previous challenge to offer a choice between two different tests, either addition or subtraction. If the user selects addition, then the addition question should run. If he selects subtraction, then the subtraction should run. Obviously, output the score at the end. Pause the video now. So, in this solution, our if statement will run the addition, our elif will run the subtraction, and our else will pick up the errors. Thanks for watching.